All right, hey, thanks for joining us. Uh, my name is Alter David. And I'm James Chen. And we are here to talk about the seven players who have been invited to the Masters Series by Canada Cup Gaming this coming weekend. It's That's in right. Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Yeah, this is going to be a fun event because this is going to be round robin between eight players, yeah. first to seven. Yeah. So we're going to know everything about all these matchups. <laughs> <laughs> by the end of this, we're going to know a lot about these players and yeah. all the matchups. And, uh, you know, seven players have already been determined. Yes. So uh, five of them made it through Canada Cup for winning Canada Cup between 2010 and 2014. Right. Uh, one got in through qualifiers through Wednesday night fights uh, put on by Level Up. And then uh, Luffy got an automatic invite for winning this tournament known as Evolution. Oh, kind okay. of a big tournament. Beat 1,600 players, you oh. know. It was pretty good. All right. And then, of course, the last player is going to be determined in an open tournament. That actually is going to take place right before the Master Series. So there's one last chance to qualify for the tournament that weekend. So the players who we know will be in it, mm -hmm. the seven, are Daigo, Kazunoko, Luffy, Pepe Dai, Snake Eyes, Shen, and Xiaohai. Yep. And in this video here, we're going to be talking about uh, SoCal native Snake Eyes. Yeah. Yeah. So he made it there through winning uh, the Wednesday Night Fights qualifier for season yeah. three, basically scoring the most points yeah. for uh, consistently, to, I don't even want to say placing high. I think he just won. Like yeah, I think he might have. <laughs> just, uh, maybe he lost like one or something. Yeah. But, but yeah, extremely dominant. And, you know, he had a great most of the year. Yes, 2014. I, I really honestly feel like you know, we've always known how good Snake Eyes is because yeah. we're from SoCal. We've seen him week after week. Right. But I feel like 2014 is really where he started becoming in prominence in the entire FGC, mm. especially after the ridiculous, uh, you know, five-player comeback that happened at uh, SoCal Regionals against NorCal. Yeah. Because right? then there was, like, all these YouTube videos made right. about it and stuff like that. And, um, and since then, he's just been having a great year. Had fourth place at Evo, mm -hmm. very high up, highest placing American at Evo. Mm -hmm. uh, then he look, he hasn't traveled all that often, but he did right. travel to the Fall Classic, mm -hmm. uh, which he won. Yep. Uh, he went to NEC. He only lost to one guy. Mm -hmm. That was Pepe Dai. That's right. Um, and then and then uh, <laughs> yeah. and then at Capcom Cup, he went zero and two. He was last place. Mm -hmm. At Cat tied for last place, but yeah, last yeah. place at Capcom Cup, nevertheless, which which nobody predicted. Yes, zero out of however many people. Filled out <laughs> yeah, and honestly, um, you know, we spoke to him a little bit, and yeah. he did say nerves got to him a little bit. Yeah. But honestly, uh, I just don't feel like like you mentioned, he hasn't traveled enough yet. Yeah, and it's gonna. Be, so this is what kind of makes this storyline for Snake Eyes really interesting. Because he's coming here to Canada Cup, and it's going to be the similar kind of situation, right? We've seen pictures of the venue, super nice looking place, right? right? And so this is going to be a really telling thing because he obviously buckled under the pressure mm -hmm. of Capcom Cup. And he's going to want to make a comeback here. You know personally he's going to want to try to redeem himself yeah. in this situation. I'm sure he wanted to fight Daigo and such. Right, you know? absolutely. And he didn't get that opportunity at Capcom yeah. Cup. But here, this is round robin, there's not a single person you're not going to fight against. Right. So I'm going to be really curious to see how well he performs. This is going to be a very telling event for him. Yeah, right, right. Look, at, after Capcom Cup, he just sort of said, look, I didn't play, I didn't play well. Mm -hmm. he, mm -hmm. he, there was no excuse to it. He just was <laughs> like, look, I didn't play, sorry, I didn't play well. Yeah. You know, he, and he wasn't, he, wasn't, he wasn't happy, but he wasn't overly upset either. He just sort of like, that, well, that wasn't my game, yeah, I'm going to yeah. do better uh, next time. He wasn't making excuses, no. is a good way to put it. You yeah. know? And uh, this is going to be interesting because... Now he gets this first to seven format here, yeah. right? And, you know, one of the things that I've always loved about Snake Eyes is that he has a very strong fundamental game. Yes. And in the end, fundamentals are always going to win in longer sets. Yeah, they really come out as mm -hmm. longer sets go on. Right. And because the thing is, a lot of people are going to win rounds and matches based off of tricks, shenanigans, or whatever right. like that, right? That, that could totally take a round, two rounds. Right. Uh -huh. And in a two out of three, this is a problem. But in the first of seven, not so much. Right. So I feel like the format is going to be beneficial to Snake Eyes. But again, I think a lot of pressure is on him. And I feel like the, the venue is going to be, you know, if, if it gets to him again, you know, if the nerves kick in again. And, you know, I mean, a lot of people will say, like, you guys are making excuses for him. This is not a, learning to play in these kind of environments yeah. is very much a skill you have oh, to sure. learn. 
And so if that becomes a weakness, that becomes a weakness. Yeah. You know what I mean? And then that's something you take advantage of. Oh, yeah. You know that a player is weak in that kind yeah. of way. Yeah. So. Look, a lot of people think he's the best Zangief in the world, but he didn't He didn't show it at Capcom mm-hmm. Cup, so mm-hmm. it's on him to, to really show it this time. Yeah, at, exactly. At Master Series. But, you know, having said all that, super strong player and 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 maybe one of the best players in the united states right now you know despite the performance at capcom Cup. yeah i still think he's at least top three Again, he's, but he has to show it yeah that's mm-hmm. on him Absolutely. so so we'll see uh so his opponent let's let's talk about the sort of the matchups that he'll play right so he's going up for sure against six known players correct right um, uh, let's talk about his matchup against daigo okay now they haven't played but daigo uh hasn't done that great against zangief's um, mm-hmm. He played against Hagejin in a tournament in Japan and and got blown up. It was not <laughs> a good match. Okay. Uh, it was just a very, uh, very just sort of regular Zangief match. Like Zangief walked him back and pressed a lot of buttons, and Daigo just didn't get the right ones, and yeah. that was basically it. And he lost. <laughs> um, <laughs> so that was a little concerning, I thought. But then more concerning, I thought, was that um, according to some sources, mm-hmm. uh, Daigo did not take that very seriously for purposes of playing against Snake Eyes. This was pre-Capcom Cup. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. And, and uh, he, th- he just thought it was Hagi Jin. Yeah, and, and when people asked him about Snake Eyes, you know, he said he really didn't practice against Zangief yeah. because it's just Zangief. Yeah. So he's very confident against Zangief. Now, I totally understand that. Yeah. Because if you fight against Zangief who spends their whole entire time just trying to land SPDs and playing the, the standard Zangief game, your Zangief's gonna get blown up against a really good Ryu or evil Ryu. Yeah. Either one of them, right? I, I just don't feel like Snake Eyes is in that no. category. He plays Zangief completely different than everybody else. And in fact, there are times where you can watch Snake Eyes play entire matches and never land an SPD. Because the threat of the SPD right. is always there, and then every time he gets it with the SPD, it's just the last moment you expected it. You know? As Zangief players ourselves, we're often surprised when he lands an SPD because we, even we weren't realizing that was the moment to go for it. You know what I mean? It's it's pretty crazy. So well, maybe me. No, no, no. Because <laughs> you're like I knew. No, I didn't say that at all. <laughs> no, he's way but, better than I ever was. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, no. But I mean, in all seriousness, so like I feel like if Daigo is just going to treat him like another Zangief player, yeah. I feel like that could hurt him. Yeah, I think so too. That said, having done so poorly at Capcom Cup, I wonder if Daigo thinks that he needs to bother. Yeah, mm-hmm. but look, we're talking about Daigo like this, like maybe he's not going to be prepared. Ah, you're right. He'll be, he'll but he'll, seven game he'll set, that. seven that. game set. Yeah, favors Daigo. Yeah, always will he'll favor Daigo. You know, so even if like let's say Snake Eyes plays him, and then all of a sudden Daigo's like, oh wait a minute, this is not a normal Zangief. Yeah. If that only nets Snake Eyes like two or three games, he's not in any safety at Agreed. all. So Daigo can just be like, let me adjust. We saw what Momochi did with Ken Footsie yes. versus Snake Eyes. Very convincing. And there's, you know, you can't say that Daigo's Footsie is, is any worse or better than Momochi's, but it's right there on the same level. So if he can just do what Momochi did, then Snake Eyes could have... A long set coming ahead, or maybe even a short set if he loses yeah. really fast. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, okay, so let's talk about Snake Eyes versus Kazunoko. Again, I don't think that they've played, mm-hmm. but uh, the the matchup is one that a lot of people I think view as a win for Geef. Mm-hmm. I I don't think I agree with that. Right. I think it's pretty even. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. They they look. Yun has better ground normals than he usually than he usually does mm-hmm. than he usually uses because that's not really. What he's built for is built for pressure, but you don't really do that against Zangief. So mm-hmm. you don't often see those normals come out in other matches, but against Geef you do, and they're pretty useful. Um, so so he's, he's he's okay there, and in fact he can play a uh, pressure game better than than some characters can yeah. against Geef. Uh, he has great mobility, so he can stay away with back dashes and right, set things right. up. So the, the character has options, uh, but if I if I had to give an advantage, I would give it to Geef, but very slight. Yeah, and, and to be honest with you, like one of the things that I know about Snake is he's so good at spacing. He's really good at positioning, oh, yeah. and so that's how he gets a lot of those whiff low forward SPDs and, and whiff punishes and stuff like that. And I think that might actually hurt him a little bit in this match because Kazunoko. You know, one of the reasons he picked Yun is specifically because he doesn't really want to play that footsies yeah. games, right? So he's going to be jumping around a lot, dive kicking and backdashing and stuff like that. I think it's going to be harder for Snake Eyes to lock 
Kazunoko down and get him into that game that Snake Eyes wants to play. So I don't think this match is going to be like as dominating for Snake Eyes as a lot of people think. Maybe I'd give a slight edge to Snake Eyes just okay. because, you know, Yun is a more brittle character, yeah. you know. But I, I wouldn't be surprised if Kazunoko came and just like surprised a bunch of people in this matchup. Yeah, I don't think I'd be surprised either. Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, so let's talk about Snake Eyes versus Luffy. Now, Luffy won when they played an Evo Top 8 in Losers. Mm -hmm. uh, Luffy won, of course, uh, he won the whole thing, so he <laughs> had to have won. Yeah. Uh, he won 3-2. Uh -huh. to two. Yes. And, and we, we said this uh, in a different video, but I think that that was the closest match that Luffy had yes. in Top 8. It was a very close 3-2. Mm -hmm. um, it's a matchup that they both know very well. Yes. And you could really see... Uh, just an excellent fundamentals, spacing, mm -hmm. regular mix-up sort of game. I thought it was great. Yeah. But very close. Yeah, and and yeah, when you look back at Evo, uh, in loser's bracket, out of everybody, Snake Eyes had the best chance of actually stopping Luffy from winning that tournament. Yeah. And um, yeah, uh, I feel like we're going to see the same thing. I wouldn't be surprised if this went all 13 games. Yeah. This is going to be yeah. a long set. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a very long set because both of them are so good at spacing. Yeah. Both of them do not panic very much. You know, I guess maybe Snake Eyes has a little crack in the armor thanks to Capcom coming oh, wow, out, yeah. right? You know, but both of them know what they want to do in this matchup. So, yeah, I, <laughs> this is going to be a long match. I'm you know, I think it got a little bit worse for Snake Eyes because he can no longer punish. Uh, Rose's sweep with Jab Green. Oh, right, right. That doesn't really work how it used to in the pre 1.04 mm -hmm. patch. Um, but that said, you know, the character. Um, Luffy just spaced it great anyway. I remember him using sweep, and it was only ever at max range. You don't mm -hmm. want, you don't really right. want to be that close to Geef anyway. Right. Um, right. So he, I don't think that that'll come up too often, but it is a slight, a slight change. Um, so maybe a bit worse for, for Snake Eyes than before. Yeah. Um, but I, I can't call it either way. Yeah, I, I, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah, I mean, obviously, one of the main things is uh, Rose Ultra One going to be a good anti-air against yeah. Yankee, right? And that's that's caused problem. But again, like we said, Snake Eyes has had a lot of experience with Filipino Man, who's done similar things, you know. So Luffy, obviously, stronger Rose player, you know. But I don't know. I, I can't call this one. I can't okay. Call this one. Uh, Snake Eyes against Peppa Dye. <laughs> uh, they have had some experience against yes. each other. They played a first to ten at the Fall Classic, which Pepidai won ten to eight, mm -hmm. and they played two matches at NEC, which Pepidai won both uh, two zero and three two. Yes, and um, look, when I was watching that first to ten, I just felt like there was no right for Snake Eyes to win even eight matches. Yeah, like that, it's tough. That fight looked so terrible. Certainly, and, Snake Eyes thinks that it's a tough matchup. Yeah, and. Um, Look, if it was any other Zangief, I feel like they'd all be destroyed by Pepidai. I feel like Snake Eyes might be the only Zangief that has a chance. When, when I've seen Pepidai play against other Geefs, and I have in Europe mm -hmm. and in Asia, it's been a blowout. Yeah, and and interestingly enough, at NEC when he when they faced off in losers bracket, Snake Eyes actually won the first two games really convincingly. Like it just looked like he figured it out, mm. and. If it wasn't three out of two, I mean, if it wasn't best of three, I should say, uh, he would have won, right? Because right. on the winner's side, he lost 2 0 and was. You know, right, it would have been over. Already. Yeah, it would have yeah. been over. And it would have been, been like, five. wow, that looked really bad. But then Pepidai calmed down and he played that match really well mm -hmm. and he won three, he rattled three games off in a row. So uh, I still have to give the advantage to Pepidai. Um, I don't know if Snake Eyes is going to, like, figure anything out or anything new or if it's just going to be you know the same kind of play that he had to have which is just keep trying to read what Pepidai is going to do but uh, I, I'm going to give the edge to Pepidai on this one jump cancel kick Larry more <laughs> <laughs> hard to do yeah, uh, yeah, yeah and and there are although Snake Eyes is good with tech but that's his tough mm -hmm. um Again, I think it got a little bit worse for, for Zangief. So there are, th so there are some things that I really like 1.04 Jab Green Hand for. Right. Okay, it's bad at punishing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in matchups where it got worse at punishing, I think that Geef suffers a little bit, and this mm -hmm. is one of those. Right. Um, he can't punish Quesadilla Bomb convincingly without meter. Right. His only punish is walk towards stand medium kick. <laughs> Not very good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, because no jab green hand. And and uh, on on a, a well spaced uh, splash, same sort of thing. Right. 
Right. So um, it's, a, it's a little bit worse. But, I, you know, I don't know that that's really... I don't know if it changes the matchup so much, but 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 a little bit. Yeah, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I mean, Pepperdine thinks it's an even fight. That he does but, say that. But I, I I definitely think Forte has an advantage in that matchup, yeah, mostly just because Zangief has really no throw invincible moves, and that causes them problems. That's why you mentioned he can jump cancel. Right, because it's unthrowable. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, um, it's not just that though. It's that Gief cannot control pace. The mm-hmm. pace is entirely. Fuertes. Yeah. And yeah. he can choose when to go in and when not to, and you can run away. You mentioned how Pebedai settled down and played very patiently mm-hmm. against Snake Eyes, and that's tough for Geef to deal yeah. with. So, mm-hmm. I, yeah, I think it's I think it's tough. Mm-hmm. Um, Snake Eyes versus Shin. Okay. A lot of history we, yeah, a little too. history here, because uh, Shin just hates fighting Zangief. Yeah, he does. He really Not, hates. not just Snake Eyes Geef, yeah. but just Zangief. Just Zangief, yeah. In general. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, in fact, at Evo, he lost. Was it, didn't he lose to two Zangiefs? What didn't he lose to oh, Snake yeah. Eyes and Itabashi? Yeah. yeah, and and then at the Fall Classic, they played each other in Grand Finals, and Shin started off decently, but he went with Sagat, you know, yes. and, and and played a lot of different characters. He lost the first set uh, two to three, but then you could just see like the color leave his face, and 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 in the last set it was oh three. And Snake Eyes just dominated him. And yeah. so, um, you know, just based on history, I don't even need to go into the matchup. Just based on history, I feel like Snake Eyes has a distinct advantage in this one, especially because it's a long set. I absolutely agree with you. <laughs> I, I do hope that Shen has figured out a new character mm-hmm. against Geef because he has shown us that he can play multiple characters. Yes. Used to be just Gen. Okay, mm-hmm. but in relatively recent times, he brought out Poison, he brought out. Uh, Dawson, mm-hmm. for example, he even tried Zangief at a tournament. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I he hope... did bust out Sagat against Snake and Sagat, Eyes, right? Exactly right. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so if he if he practices up the Sagat, well, that's not it. Look, in one point oh four, I think that's basically an even matchup. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that's um, right. But, that's right. Yeah, but there yeah, are uh, still characters that Geef loses to, absolutely. Mm-hmm, in fact, mm-hmm. some some more so than before. So uh, you know, there are some choices, and I and I hope that he'll put in the time to, to find something because it's yeah. been a barren uh, a bear for him. Yeah, yeah, for, for sure. sure, for sure. That he'll have to wrestle with. <laughs> yep. um, of course, the last player he's going to be going that Snake Eyes is going to be fighting against is Shao Hai. Again, they haven't played each other. Mm-hmm. Far as I know. But uh, it'll be Geef versus Evil Ryu or Kami or Yun. Mm-hmm. This is a... That's a set of characters that is a great set of characters, but there are some opponents that they don't match up that great against. And I really feel like the Geef is like the prime <laughs> character yeah. example of that. Mm-hmm. Um, all those are, are high tier or top tier characters, and I don't think that Keith blows any of them up. But but I do think that he at least goes even. Yeah, all. yeah. I mean, it's interesting because even in the AE twenty twelve, when for example Cammy was very dominating, yeah. a lot of people still consider Zangief a really tough match for her to fight against. And so in this game where her damage is output is lowered a little bit, I think it's going to be a little bit harder for her yeah. uh, in this game. Evil Ryu, I can't even see him. Like, Evil Ryu, I don't think is a great pick against. I don't think it's a great pick either. Yeah. 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 And, and the, the, the character itself is fine, but the way that Xiao Hai plays is I know he wants to be more offensive, mm-hmm. and I don't think that's the style of play you got to use against the. Uh, yeah. Eve. I mean, interestingly, based on our conversation about Kazunoko, I almost feel like Yun might be the best choice for him, but that I even know, seems man. kind of. Yeah, I, I think this is a tough draw for, uh, for Shao yeah, Hai. Yeah, so Shao Hai, obviously, having so many characters can be a problem for a lot of these players because he can switch between them. But like you said, in this particular case, I just don't know if that's going to help him or not. So He might have to find a new character. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he has one. I don't know. He, yeah, him and uh, he plays with Dako a lot. Uh-huh. And both of them have busted out weird characters at right. weird times. So you never know what Shao Hai can pull out against the Zangief. But... Based on the three characters that we know he does play, I have to give this one to Snake Eyes right now. Yeah, I, I, I agree with that. Yeah. Um, so just in, in general, I actually feel like this is a great set of characters for Snake Eyes <laughs> to go up against. Yeah. Uh, just mm-hmm. thinking about who the different people play. Mm-hmm. The one that I would worry about most is, is Fuerte, but hey, maybe maybe Pepe dies right and it's an even match. Yeah, wow. and, and you know what? So He knows he has to deal with this now, yeah. right? So Snake Eyes knows going into this that he's going to be playing against Pepperdine. I know, remember, we talked to him at TFC, and even before that, he didn't really study the matchup too greatly right. for the for the first 10. Um, Snake Eyes has a lot to prove. 
I feel like in this tournament. Agreed. You know, uh, the the performance at Capcom Cup was dismal at best. You know, and he knows it. Mm -hmm. And here's a great opportunity to show that he can play on the big stage against the big names. Yeah. And so this is going to be a very, very, very telling tournament. Yeah. For for everybody, I think to see how he performs. And, and I think it's I think it's set up for that to happen. Yeah, I, I really do. I think the players and the characters he's going to be playing against, if if he's going to show that, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is a, this is as good a chance as any yeah. to make it happen. And not only that, again, round robin, so he's not going to get eliminated if he has two, right. you know, two bad sets of two out of three. Right. You know, he has first a seven to adjust over a couple then, of days, and then he's also got seven opponents to really find his groove. Right. So uh, I. I, I have a feeling he's going to do well here, but you okay. know, I, that's how I felt at Capcom Indeed. Cup as well, and I was definitely wrong. Yes, <laughs> yeah. So very interesting to yeah. see how this is going to go. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 And again, I'm sure all of you guys are interested and very intrigued by this as well. Twitch.tv slash Canada Cup. And if you could make it, if you're in Canada and you're in Calgary, come watch it live. So yeah, if you can make fun. it, it'd be great. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. It's All right, well, fun. we'll see you there, or we'll see you on stream. Enjoy. <laughs>